This video is for anyone who's experiencing acne, inflammatory reaction, sunspot discoloration, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, dryness, dehydration, loss of suppleness, pretty much majority of the people out there. Of course, these different types of conditions are caused by different types of causes too. However, there is a one thing, a one universal cause that they share in common, which is called oxidative stress. We are living in an era where we encounter far wider range of hazardous external stressors than those faced by our previous generations including our mom and dad and our grandpa and grandmas. Our skin is weakening at a much faster rate than ever before so therefore it's really really crucial for us to protect and prevent the oxidative stress and also reverse the damage. This is what my skin goes through in a day. I often don't get enough sleep, so sleep disturbance is a major issue for me and sleep hormone called melatonin is the key for our skin recovery and rejuvenation. Each sleepless night weakens the skin recovery by 10% causing dullness. I live in an urban city where there's a lot of cars and pollution and fine dust is another major issue that's just rapidly rising. High pollution level, mainly PM of 10 can decrease the skin elasticity by 2% and the poor air quality can cause 20% more pigment spots on the forehead and the cheeks. UV radiation, so 4 hours of exposure under mid-noon sun could accelerate aging process. I think I'm pretty good with my diet most of the times but not all the time. Poor diet generally provides lower level of absorbable antioxidants and other nutrients that are needed to maintain a healthy skin, of course, and it often leads to vitamin deficiencies. Stress, stress, stress. Of course, we stress a lot from a lot of things, work, relationships. The Pons Institute found out 10 minutes of stress leads to 10% loss in skin barrier strengths. And once the stress hormone called cortisol spikes up, this can trigger inflammatory skin conditions like acne. By now you might be thinking we're kind of doomed <laughs> to be living in this environment with a lot of toxic skin enemies flying around to damage our skin but don't stress about it because stress is another major contributor in damaging our skin. We can't really do anything about the skin enemies for now however we can help tame it by strengthening our skin with antioxidants. Nowadays antioxidant is often highlighted as the best ingredient that you can put inside the body and also apply it topically. It does have an ability to bring up our bodies and skin's immunity to fight against the free radical or to neutralize the free radicals and also it'll strengthen our skin. How does antioxidant work anyways? Our skin in its original state it has an ability to regulate, regenerate and also repair the damage by itself naturally. However, we're exposed to these different types of skin enemies affecting our skin and affecting in cellular aging at the DNA level. And this is caused by excessively produced free radicals. Now, free radicals is simply like the bad guys. Once antioxidants get penetrated into our skin, they turn the harmful free radicals into harmless compounds, therefore stopping them from damaging our DNA, elastin, and collagen. So if you're planning to include any type of antioxidant ingredients in your skincare game, you might want to look for these following ingredients. From active ingredients, the best antioxidant that is known and studied so far is vitamin C. Powerful antioxidant to our skin. Um, you can look for something with L-ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid, and there are other many forms of vitamin C as well. Vitamin E is a great antioxidant as well, and there's glutathione, resveratrol, niacinamide, ferulic acid, and etc. etc. Some antioxidant ingredients can be multitasking. They can also regulate the melanin production, they can stimulate the collagen production, and you'll have more even and brighter and strengthened skin. So these skincare products would help. However, it's really more important to consume more antioxidant-rich food. So I am going to share my favorite three easy, healthy, and delicious recipes that you can follow and let Let's begin. Blueberry oat pancakes and this only requires four ingredients. How simple is that? So we're starting off with half a cup of oats or more, two bananas, two eggs, and blueberries. Here we go, which is often called the leader when it comes to antioxidants. Ground the oats to a fine flour and then mix every ingredients together into a blender. And 
voila, we have the mix already. Swirl everything and the color. Look at the color, it's really aesthetic. I coated the pan with some coconut oil and as you can see, um, I'm not the best pancake flipper so do not judge me, but here we have it. It's really, really yummy. It's filling, it tastes really, really good and it just looks very professional and good. <laughs> Next we have matcha chia pudding. You guys all know matcha is probably the king of antioxidant when it comes to the tea kingdom. So here's another way to infuse some matcha cha cha into your diet. Pour the almond milk or any kind of plant milk that you prefer and add some matcha powder and shake it off. Then we're going to add some chia seeds as much as you like. I love chia seeds because it's really, really rich in omega-3. It's really, really good. Give it another shake and then store it in the fridge for at least two hours. Then it kind of becomes like this jello, gooey type of texture, which is really fun and tasty. Add any toppings that you'll like. If you can't handle the bitter taste of matcha, add some maple syrup. That will do. And enjoy the matcha goodness, everyone. Next we have tomato broccoli stew. This is a very easy, throw everything from the fridge kind of menu that I often make it. Tomatoes are loaded with antioxidants such as leucopene, vitamin A, and C. And broccolis, my girls, and boys is another concentrated source of vitamin C and it's really rich in fiber so it's so filling. So these together create a powerful antioxidant combo. I'm going to cook the garlic and onion first with a dash of water and then adding the tomato juice, other veggies, a cup of water. Then I added some tomato paste to give that rich tomato flavor. And last but not least, we're going to throw in the broccoli and we're done. I don't like seasoning it because it's already quite dense in flavor. However, you can definitely do it with salt and pepper or whatever you like. This is really hearty and just comforting. It's really good, guys. Try it out. So bring up your antioxidant game internally and also topically, you will definitely see results with healthier skin and body as well. If you have any skincare questions, leave them down below because I will be collaborating more with the Pons Institute. The Pons Institute is basically the science, research, and development center and they've been really, really helpful in providing me with a lot of scientific research. So we would love to definitely answer some of your questions. Don't forget to join the Pom Pom family by subscribing to my channel and I will talk to you guys really soon. Stay healthy and bye!